Hi everybody, thanks for tuning into another video. Today we are going to be looking at a product called uh, Kishi from Razer. So the Razer Kishi, and what is this? This is ultimately a gamepad um, similar to Bluetooth gamepads that you would use to play games on your mobile phones or tablets. But instead of uh, Bluetooth connectivity, this connects to your phone directly via your USB-C port, hence ultra low latency gameplay because you haven't got the latency of uh, wireless Bluetooth connection. Um, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. We're going to see how it connects to my phone. Um, and I'm going to be using the Note 10 Plus for this test. And we'll just go and fire up some games. My main reason for buying this was to test out uh, Xbox Live Game Pass to see how it works with Game Pass and see how it works with some Xbox games. Um, just taking a quick look at the box before we open it up. So again, ultra low latency, which they're pushing is a big thing. It's got a USB-C charging port, so it's got pass-through port on it, which is great. So if you're running out of battery while your phone is in, in the device, you can just plug the charger straight into the actual gamepad. And it's portable in that um, it's actually got a band, so sort of stretchy band by the looks of it, that uh, stretches the device, allows you to stretch the device out and lock it around. So let's just go ahead and cut this open. Um, and before I open it, there's a list of compatible devices on the side, which I'm just going to show you on the camera in case you want to see it. Um, it will also be on their website, but you can see there there's a list of compatible devices. And the Note 10 Plus, which is quite a large phone, is on there. So uh, hopefully that's going to be OK. So there you go. Inside the box, there's just some rubber padding to stop this thing from moving around. And there is the device. Just like that, it looks like a normal gamepad effectively, right? Now it's got clicky sticks on it. It's got really nice analog sticks. They feel light and quite uh, quite smooth, to be honest. Um, analog triggers, which is quite important if you want to play Xbox games. So when you're playing a racing game, maybe we'll play a racing game, uh, maybe Forza or something if it's on Xbox Live Game Pass. But that would be quite useful for throttle, and especially if you're playing shooters and stuff. So uh, absolute first initial impressions, that does feel very nice. Not sure about the D-pad, to be honest. Um, Mm, that feels a bit soft, to be honest, to me, the D-pad, but maybe it's better in the games. One thing to point out is, and I didn't know this when I bought this, is there seems to be a slightly new version. And I'm guessing hardware-wise it's the same, but it's more of a sort of rebranding effort from uh, Razer. Maybe they've teamed up with Microsoft, where the new boxes have got a little circle there that says uh, designed for Xbox. And um, the actual buttons on the controller have changed, so that home button is actually an Xbox guide button. So it's an actual effective rebranding of their controller. Um, and then these two forward and back buttons here ultimately change to the menu and settings buttons on the actual um, on the actual Xbox controller. I don't know if you can hear that or not in the microphone. Um, nice clicks, very nice clicks on these three buttons here. As I said, D-pad for a little bit soft, but I don't think it's too bad. Probably me being a bit fussy. Clicky thumbsticks, so the thumbsticks are definitely clicking in. Razor branding on the side there. Taking a look at the back, we've got some clips here that you've got to pull. Pull both of the release latches to expand the controller. So if we do that, see the bands popped out, and then we should be able to, hopefully without, oh, maybe I should take the sticker off first. Um, so I've definitely got to take this off because this is keeping it all together. So there we go, that's off. Let's put that on the box maybe. And we should be able to stretch it out. And there you go. So you can see that band stretches out a little bit there. Allowing you to fit large devices. Now that does look like it's going to get a pretty large device in there. This is apparently quite universal in terms of it supports most Android devices. The most important thing here is the charging port on your phone has to be centered, right? So it's not going to work if your charging port is offset. I don't think this is adjustable at all. So there's no adjustment in that whatsoever. That's completely fixed position, 100% center. Um, so what I don't know is once your device is in there, if uh, see if you've got a device that's not so big, it's probably going to be a bit loose in there, I suppose, because there's not going to be any sort of tension from that back band. My device is on the larger side, so hopefully I'm not going to experience any issues. So why don't uh, let's have a look at the charging port. So right at the bottom there as well, we've got the USB-C 
charging port and it does say charge only so there's not going to be any data transfer through that um, right so that's off quickly very very quickly because we're not really interested let's have a look at what else is in the box nothing just some paperwork and some stickers which you generally get with razor products so let's push all that aside and let's bring my phone in so note 10 note 10 plus let's just go ahead and unlock that so that's unlocked i'm going to go ahead and take off the cover because it's not going to go in there with the cover at all so um don't even think for a minute that you're going to be able to leave your cover off if you want to use this device um you are going to be have to remo have to be removing the cover and you might have just seen it there as i tried to push it in that was going straight in without any issues so it's uh taken that end of the phone in perfectly well and then let's see if it stretches on this side it's stretching over it extremely tight but it looks like it is going to go in so again galaxy note 10 plus um and let's see if we can stretch that in because it's supposed to work it's gone in so first things first is it's popped up with an xbox game pass app which i do already have installed i don't know what's going to happen if i hit install because it's already installed but maybe it's adding an add-on here because it's definitely doing something so we'll let it complete that it's 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 definitely um working probably the same way that the xbox uh, branded one will because it's popped up the xbox app on the samsung store so there we go xbox game pass is firing up hopefully this is going to run in landscape there we go so nintendo switch maybe i don't know nice weight to it as you can see it there with the device plugged in from the top view uh, and the lovely reflective back of this phone uh, never gets old i've still got the plastic on there the actual um, peel i've never peeled it off sign me up so i've already signed i don't know why it's doing that because i've already signed into game pass so i don't know if i have to use this version i'm just going to do uh, sign in and hopefully it's going to pick up my account no okay yeah so let's see what happens there okay so looks like i'm in cool so i'm already a member um and there we go so is the controller working yes it is there it is so you can see it working i'm moving the d-pad or the analog stick and i'm able to select so what we're going to do is we're going to go to cloud obviously and we're going to go through some games and let's see if we can find forza it should be in the most popular list somewhere there it is that'll probably be a nice game to test so let's launch forza hopefully i'm going to get a decent speed out of this let's close that now how to install on another device we don't need that and play right so this is playing through xbox is a cloud gaming service i suppose if you want to call it that um surprising still showing beta mind you it's not not been out for too long i suppose so still in beta mode uh the xbox one i noticed looking at the picture it looks like it's got the little white um indicator light there as well this has got an indicator light on this side but i'm guessing that's going to be more to do with the charge because i haven't seen that come on yet but otherwise let's see how this feels so there we go fours is firing up and uh, let's see how this works you may or may not be able to hear the audio i haven't got it too loud anyway because it's uh, quite early in the morning that i'm recording this video i've just finished working now uh, my screen is unfortunately quite dirty and if i try and clean it i'll probably just mess it up even more uh, right so let's see right so buttons every every button is where we'd expect it to be i suppose how does it feel in the hand it feels nice my fingers or thumbs sorry are naturally um sitting on the uh, main buttons here and also on the analog stick i'm not having to stretch my hands anywhere i've got probably medium-sized hands small to medium-sized hands not large hands this is fitting very nicely on my hands my fingers resting naturally on the two triggers here 
and very easy access to the shoulder buttons as well. Um, game is starting up. So there we go. I mean, now analog stick, as you can see, if I'm, if I'm just uh, depressing it slightly, it's uh, functioning correctly as an analog stick. And oh my God, I'm playing Xbox on my phone, on the kitchen table, recording it for you all to see. And that feels great. So with the phone docked in there and the controllers on either side of it, it does actually just feel like I'm playing another handheld games console, to be honest. Um, the streaming experience, as you can see, this is streaming from uh, from Xbox's cloud gaming service. It's perfect, right? The stream is great. Uh, yeah, there's going to be a bit of lag. You'd be lying to yourself if you said you didn't expect any lag. I'd be lying to you if I did said there was no lag. There is a lag, but it's not. It's not massive, to be honest. It's it's not to a point where it's unplayable. I'm sure there's some games that you can't tolerate a lag in, but um, for the most part of it, you're not going to have an issue. As long as you've got a decent wireless connection or even a mobile data connection, maybe you're in an area where you've got 5G connectivity, you're not going to see any issues, to be honest. That's running absolutely fine. Um... That is extremely playable. Oh, and I've overshot it. Ooh, there we go. Look at that. Um, so if you want to play another game, what happens if I press home? So it definitely is working as a guide button. Okay, cool. So that's fine. Um, and what if I want to exit the game? So where am I going? Am I just going to the screen? Um, am I pressing my home button? Is it doing anything there? No. So let's see if I can quit the game from the menu, maybe. Um, is there any option to quit the game here? Maybe I can go to the home menu. So the, the left bumper, right bumper is definitely working. Um, it might just be easier if I, where will I quit? I want to quit the game. I just want to quit the game. How do I go? How do I quit the game? Someone tell me how to quit the game. Well, that's not, that's not straightforward, is it? Um, I can probably just use my screen and quit the game from here. So let's just do that. I was trying to see if I could do it from the controller, but there we go. Um, let's just try something else just for good measure. So test out two games. What shall we try? Something simple, maybe. Uh, Minecraft Dungeons. I was... Let's see if that works. Just to give you an idea of another type of game, really. Um, and then I think I'll end the video, but hopefully that gives you an idea of uh, what you can expect from this product. I First impressions, I really like it. I think it's going to be uh, used quite a lot, to be honest. Um, definitely nice to see there's a charging port there, um, so you don't need to worry about stop playing if your battery's running low. You can just crack on, plug the charger in, away you go. Could the charging port be positioned a bit differently? I don't know, maybe a bit further towards the end of the device, so it's not getting in the way, but maybe it won't anyway. It's, it's definitely away from where my where my palm is resting, if you can see there. So it's, it's not like the charger is going to be hitting my, hitting, you know, my palm. So, Minecraft Dungeons. Definitely not the best game in the world, but not the worst. Nice, easy play. Uh, the touch screen optimization on this game, I must say, is actually really, really impressive. If you're playing without a controller, you can play it absolutely fine. You don't need a controller to play this. Um, but there we go, it's working. You get the Xbox feel because your your game bar pops up there with your with your profile and all that good stuff as well. So it really is like having an Xbox in your hands at this stage. So let's start the game. How is it when I'm holding it on one hand? So I can even hold it with one hand and it's stable. I guess all well, the weight is going on my phone there between the two. But you can you can hold it in one hand and I'm not leaning that on the table and it's absolutely fine. So it really does feel like a games console and it's it's sturdy. It's not I'm not getting any sort of a wobble on there at all. Maybe because I've got a larger device and as I said, 
the band has got a bit of tension in the back at least so um i probably won't be selling this phone after i'm done with it because i'll probably just keep it for this permanently but there we go minecraft dungeons um again playing quite nicely i'm probably going the wrong way and you can select some missions there so let's just go somewhere for the sake of it where shall we go let's this is locked that's locked that's locked so i guess i'm going to be going here and let's start the mission uh, so there you have it really uh, i hope you've enjoyed this video hopefully you've uh, um, maybe watched the video to make a decision as to whether this is right for you or not especially if you've got the note 10 plus and you wanted to just see if it does actually fit because it is a large device it 100 percent fits in fact it fits really really nicely it fits well i think smaller devices you might notice that it gets a bit flimsy just because of the way the band locks around it there are two rubber grips here that are securing the phone in place as well so they're offering a bit of support uh, very sturdy nice weight buttons feel nice to be honest i haven't really used a d-pad i'm probably not going to get to use it here much either but well i can use it then yeah it's a bit squashy but it's doing the job it's not causing any major issues you'll be able to play some games with that um so there we go Razer Kishi using Xbox uh, Live Game Pass or Xbox Ultimate for Game Pass. Testing out on Samsung Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, streaming these games live from the cloud. Absolutely fine. No issues. The stream is great. The streaming service is great. I've not had any issues with it. I use it quite a lot. Um, and this gamepad has just taken gaming on this phone to another level. So on that note, Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please do leave a thumbs up and please do not hit, forget to hit the subscribe button in the corner of the video there somewhere. I really do appreciate the support for the videos. Thank you very much for watching. Take care and all the best.